We are talking trivia about episode number 12, Fire. Mulder's brilliant, manipulative ex, Phoebe Green, is played by Amanda Pays. Carter liked her and imagined a continuing role for her on the show. However, he quickly found that the denizens of alt.tv.xfiles Usenet forum held rather strong negative opinions of her. Even the 1993 internet had its share of haters. The chemistry just wasn't there, and this was her only appearance in the series. Amanda has done a bit of work on television. You might remember her from Max Headroom. And she married and has four children with Corbin Burnson. The 1992 fire at Windsor Castle was started when a curtain rested against a spotlight and ignited. The damage was extensive and cost more than 55 million American dollars to repair and restore. Our suspect likes to send love letters to his victim's wives. Sent one to the wife of Sir Malcolm Marsden a month ago. Sir Malcolm Marsden happens to share a name with the show's hairstylist. I figured my friend Mulder couldn't resist a three-pipe problem. In Arthur Conan Doyle's short story, The Red-Headed League, Sherlock Holmes is faced with a challenging problem, the solution to which will take at least the amount of time necessary for him to smoke three pipes of tobacco i.e. the three-pipe problem. Is there any kind of incendiary device used? Yes, actually. The victim's body. Spontaneous combustion. Okay, this is a good one. Spontaneous human combustion. The idea is that a human being may auto-ignite living or dead tissue without an external source of flame. There are more than a few strange cases of people burning, but none have ever shown evidence of spontaneous combustion. And the conditions under which it could be possible are extraordinarily, astronomically even, unlikely. This is a pyrokinetics, people who can control and conduct fire. Pyrokinesis is an even better one. Think Drew Barrymore in Firestarter. It was based on Stephen King's 1980 novel and is basically our classic pop culture example. There were a few stage magicians and charlatans that alleged a comparable ability, uh, but none proved to be more than good at sleight of hand. A group of children who died in ritual sacrifice by a satanic cult in 1963 in the Tottingham Woods outside Bath, England. Fortunately, there was no mass child sacrifice in the UK in 1963, or ever for that matter. This was an entirely fictional event. X-File number 11214893. Scully is giving her end of episode voiceover that was common in season one. She mentions the case number. All right, listen carefully. 11214893. Chris Carter likes to slip these in. 112148 is his wife's birthday. And of course, 93 is the current year. Fifth and sixth degree burns are real and very rare. Virtually everyone suffering such burns dies from the injury. Fifth degree burns expose and damage muscle tissue, while sixth degree refers to burns that expose and damage bone. David Duchovny did not come away unscathed. He was burned and slightly scarred on his hand in the filming of this episode. That's it. That's fire trivia. Next is Beyond the Sea. Am I running out of time? <laughs>